Welcome back to SiteTech in the Mountain Earthworks training videos. In this video today, I want to show you how you can still use your sonic tracers on your new massless graders. What I've got here is a widening in a road in Moab, Utah. Nielsen Construction's doing it. We've already got some asphalt laid and some grade already established, but I don't want to use a model. I want to use the sonic tracers. You can still use these. The ST400 Sonic Tracer works on the old legacy GCS systems. It works on masted graders and it works on this brand new Fortworks Cat Grader. We got the black receivers on the front, massless, but we go ahead and put on the L bar. We've got an old school ST400. As long as it's up to version 104, it'll work on these on either side. So we've got this set out just far enough that we're gonna match this top mat and hold a cross slope right there. So inside the machine, in your massless grader, you still have a couple different options. They look a little different. So right here, you've got dual GNSS or 2D. That's because this massless grader does not have an actual mast out there for a UTS. It would show that in there if it had that on there. But we can still run Sonic Tracers in dual GNSS. So right here, that with my channel. So in dual GNSS, we still have the ability to run 3D, 3D, or cross slope, or you can put it in 3D elevation and run the model in Sonic either side. And remember, it's a plug and play system. So right now the Sonic is showing up on the left because I'm plugged in on the left. If it is on the right or you have two of them, you'll have even more options in right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go in here and I'm just gonna put it in two dimensional. So 2D and I'm gonna go to my sensor combination and all I have is Sonic and cross slope or cross slope. So we'll go ahead and go on that. You'll notice on your main screen, it's gonna look a little different because you're not in 3D mode. And right off the bat, it wants to bench the Sonic Tracer. It's out of range. I've got it moved all the way to where I can still match that out there. What I'm gonna do is just set down and touch on my grade right here, just so I'm close. I don't actually have to, but I'm gonna go till I'm close. And on the right side, there's an icon here that looks like a Sonic Tracer is zero, zero. If you hit that, it'll actually bench it and zero it out right where it's at. And now you'll notice that out on the screen of the face of the ST400, I got a green light bar for right in the middle. So you can imagine if I lift it up, it's gonna be pointing down. And if I'm too far down, it's gonna be pointing up. And I still have my cut fill right here. So I can go ahead and turn on my autos on the left side right here. And there, now as soon as I start moving, it'll actually follow with my auto on the right side, or left side right there. We're gonna go ahead and match that. So, what I can do now also, since I'm not in 3D, is I can turn on my right auto, which is gonna hold a flat grade from there. You can notice at the top of the screen right there, it's just in level. So in level, on the left side, I'm matching the existing asphalt, and on the right side, it's just the blade is level. If you wanna change that, you can go ahead and stop. You can go ahead and touch on your level at the top right there, and you can put in a percentage. So let's say we wanted a 1%. Keep an eye on which way uh, goes the plus or minus is gonna go up one or down one on the right. So right now, I'm down one on the right, 1%, and I hit apply, and you can see it at the top right there. So if I go ahead and just hit auto on both sides again, matching left and holding a percentage on the right, you can see the blade went down just a little bit on the right side right there. So now we can go ahead and do this. And if I need to put a vertical offset in at all for that Sonic Tracer to bench it down a little bit, you can either use the keys inside the machine and dial it down. So right there is just a hundredth, or you can manually put it in. Pretty straightforward. I guess my intent of this video is to show people that even though I've got a brand new machine and everybody just thinks, you know, UTS or 3D, which is what most everybody uses, if you've got a job site where the base isn't up or you just don't want to go ahead and worry about the model or you don't feel like it matches or, for an example, something actually changed on the job site and you need to just adapt to what that is. That's what I've always taught people when we're using Sonic Tracers, is a lot of times Sonic Tracers are intended just to be used for matching grade, right? So even if it wasn't a road like this, you were inside a parking lot, the, you were working along a, a roadway or something where you didn't have the mat model or the model doesn't match the concrete now, just turn on your Sonic Tracer and match it. This is how to use the Sonic Tracer for matching existing grade. If I put it on the right side, it'll work also. 
Um, thank you for watching this video from Sight Tech Inner Mountain, Earthworks training videos using an old ST400 Sonic Tracer.